Hello everyone, my name is Bukola Awemi, popularly known as Aruba. Yeah, this is, um, I'm making this video to make a disclaimer on the write-ups, some write-ups written by some fake, lazy bloggers <clears throat> on the internet. Um, everybody knows I'm an easygoing person. I don't like to make troubles. But this time around, <laughs> trouble will start if they don't start writing what is not about me. Honestly speaking, I'm going to be calling them out because <clears throat> I had wanted to keep quiet though, but I decided to talk, to speak out when some of my fans came to me online on Facebook precisely to, to, to challenge, to ask questions and to, to, to accuse me of lying about where I grew up my age and all that and this this is to clear the air this is to clear the air some bloggers i'm going to be calling their names <clears throat> but before i call their names i will i will say the things they wrote about me that are absolutely untrue like how can you pick up your pen or whatever your phone or your laptop and and say you are writing a biography of someone without seeing the person one on one without the person granting an interview how why why would you do that what would you what would you call like you have the f on to you have the guts to call it bukola Oyemi's biography and you never saw me one on one we never met we, i never grant any interview and you have the effort to call it my biography you gave me a date of birth you wrote the names of schools I never attended, awards that I never got, places I've never been to. They said Bukola Oyemi was born in Kora State. I grew up in Kora State. I wasn't born in Kora State. That's even minor. They said I, the person wrote that I, I attended St. Benedict's because I had to write those names down because I'm not I don't even know what the person is talking about because if I don't write it down I won't remember said I attended St. Benedict's Ibarra Abe Okuta Girls Grammar School when well I love Abe Okuta but the very first my very first visit to Abe Okuta was 2008 when we went to shoot Aruba I never schooled there never ever they measure like two schools St. Benedict Zibara, Abe Okuta, Abe Okuta Girls Grammar School, Onikolobo. When did I go to all these schools? Why can't you just take out time, try and get any artist you feel you want to interview, and ask questions and get the right information, rather than just writing things that never happened? Because they came to me and there were some, some people that are close to me were like, Buki, why are they writing all these things? Did you go to? I said, Shebi, you know me. When did I go to all these places? They said Bukola was born in 1988. I said, when? Where? Were you there? Did I give you my birth certificate? Okay, what actually prompted this was someone came, one of my friends came to Facebook to call me out. And he said, Auntie Buki, you graduated from the university in 2005. We all know. That was 16 years ago. And they said you are 32 years old. Does it mean you, you gain admission when you were 11 or 12 years old? You gain admission to, into the university when you were... I said, and the person was like, why are you lying about your age? I said, why would you date my age back? Like, why? They were like, ah, is it possible for your younger brother to be older than you? All those things. They, they, they actually, some people actually felt I granted that interview and I told all those lies. And I told all those lies. My younger brother is going to be 38 next year by God's grace. So how can I be 32? What kind of what kind of interview? What, who is doing that? Who is writing all that? The person went ahead to say, I, 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 I studied filmmaking in France. I've never been to France before. I've never been to France. I would love to, but I've never been there. So why would why should you write such? Why would you write such? I'm going to be calling the person out. And um, I'm going to take it up legally, and I mean it. 
because all these things they are documentation it's been documented it's online and because of for future purpose because they are wrong information they have to be taken down i know the schools are attended if you want to know interview me if i am willing to grab the interview i will if i'm not then let people be I am, I am making this video not for myself alone, but for my other colleagues that you have written rubbish, that you have written things that never happened. Where are the days of real professional blogging? Those days are gone. I don't know where all these bloggers have come from. One is uh, www360.com. They keep writing. They, they, in fact, I don't understand. NigerianFinder.com, MyBio.com, MyBio.com, I think is the, is the one who, who started this. And all other lazy bloggers like him or her started copying whatever they saw. Information Credo, the city celeb. Bring down all those wrong information about me. Bring them down. You don't know me. Don't write things that never happened in my life. For future purpose. And don't ever target my biography. It's wrong. It's evil. Why would you do that? Why would you make me appear like a liar before my fans? Those that are very, very close to me, they, they came to me and they said, I'm so sure you didn't grant this interview because this is, this is not you. Some that are not that close to me were like, why is she lying? Those we know are in Ilori. Why, why all these lies? Why does she, she wants to make people to feel she's very young or what? Please, please let this stop, please. Oh uh, well, my 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 people are working on this. My lawyer is working on this. All the necessary people, all ends are on decks, and this has to stop. I am angry. I don't like it. Please let it stop. Thank you.